Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to set up your Amazon Aero router. And before I start, I want to remind you that if my video will help you, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below. So, the first step is to power on the router. Take the power adapter. Connect one end of the power adapter to a wall socket and the other end to the router. Then press the power button. Once it's on, an indicator will light up. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, connect the cable from your broadband provider or from your modem to a special internet port. This port is often called WAN and is usually a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks into place. Now you need to reset the router back to its factory settings. Press and hold the router's reset button for 10 seconds. Wait until the lights on the router start to flash. Sometimes, this button is located inside the router casing to prevent accidental presses. Use a thin object to push it down. The router will restart, and all the settings will go back to their original factory settings. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable provided with the router into an Ethernet port. Plug the other end into your computer or laptop's Ethernet card. Please wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is now connected to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. So, first of all, before we even start setting things up, make sure your phone has access to the internet. You can either turn on your mobile data or connect your phone to a working Wi-Fi network. This step is absolutely crucial because without internet, the setup process simply won't move forward. And while you're at it, don't forget to enable your phone's location services as well as Bluetooth. Location helps the app recognize and optimize your network placement, while Bluetooth is often used for the initial pairing between your phone and the Aero device. If one of these is turned off, you might run into errors later, so it's much better to handle this right away. Next, open your App Store or Google Play, search for the Aero app by Amazon, download it, and then launch the app. This app is basically the control center for your whole Wi-Fi system, so you'll be using it not only now during setup, but also later on for managing your network, checking who's connected, or even pausing internet access for specific devices. Now, once the app is open, the very first thing it will ask you to do is log in. If you don't already have an Aero account, no problem, just tap on this button right here. Then tap on the next one, and it will guide you through the registration process. On the other hand, if you already have an Amazon account, things are even easier. Just tap this button, enter your Amazon login information, and you'll immediately be logged in without creating a new account. If you see an error message while trying to log in, don't worry. Nine times out of 10, it just means your internet connection isn't active. Remember what we said at the beginning, you must have either mobile data on or be connected to Wi-Fi. Without that, the login will always fail. So double check your connection, make sure you can load a regular website, and then return to the app and try again. Usually, the error disappears right away once the phone has internet. After you've successfully logged in, tap on the Start Setup button. Then you'll see another button that says Start, and pressing it will launch the guided installation process. Here, the app will start walking you through all the steps to set up your router. 
Some of these steps we've technically already covered, but the app wants to make sure nothing gets missed. So don't worry if it feels a little repetitive, just keep pressing next to move forward. At this stage, the app will try to connect your Aero router to the internet. You'll need to look at the status light on your gateway device. When it begins blinking blue, that's the signal that it's in pairing mode. Once the app detects it successfully, the light will turn solid blue, confirming that the device is ready and connected. It might take a minute or two, so be patient and let the process complete. After that, the app will ask you to specify the location of your device. For example, you can choose living room, bedroom, or office. This may seem like a small detail, but it actually helps you keep track of where each device is placed, especially if you add more aero units later on. It's a simple way to stay organized. Next, you'll be asked to create a name and password for your new Aero Wi-Fi network. Here's an important tip. If you want all your phones, laptops, smart TVs, and other devices to reconnect automatically, just reuse your old Wi-Fi name and password. That way you don't have to manually reconnect every single device in your home. Of course, you can create something completely new if you want a fresh start, but sticking to the old credentials is usually the smoothest option. Once you've entered your network details, go ahead and press Next. Now the app will give you the option to add another Aero device. This is useful if you want to extend your Wi-Fi coverage to multiple rooms or floors, for example, in a large house. But if you're only setting up a single unit for now, you can simply finish the process by tapping this button here. Press Next once more to move on. At this point, you might see a screen suggesting you subscribe to some additional services. Personally, I don't find those necessary, so I just close the window and skip that step. Sometimes, after this step, the app might show you a plain white screen where nothing responds. Don't panic, this is a known glitch. The easiest fix is to simply close the app completely, remove it from your recent apps, and then open it again. That usually solves the problem immediately. Once the setup is finally complete, the app will prompt you to connect your phone to your new Wi-Fi network. Just tap join, and your device will switch over to the Aero network you just created. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below.